Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got a special, special treat. I'm actually really excited for this. This is a 1967 Fender Jazzmaster. All original. Original color, original neck, original pickups, knobs, pots, everything. Tremolo system, tremolo bar. I guess the only thing that's not original, like all Jazzmasters with anyone that plays them, is the bridge has been changed to a Mustang bridge. This guitar belongs to a good friend of mine. Um, who is an awesome musician, and you can check him out down in the description. You can find his Instagram. He has two Instagrams. One is a project he's working on. One is his like personal music Instagram. The other one is a YouTube channel, and it, he does some amazing stuff. He does a lot of like ambient looping stuff, stuff that I'm a huge fan of. Um, I've looked up to him for a long time as a musical mentor, and so he was gracious enough to let me borrow this amazing guitar. So we're going to just talk about this thing today. So, let's talk specs. Um, standard Jazz Master, two single coil pickups, uh, master volume, master tone, three-way toggle, rhythm circuit, volume and tone for the rhythm circuit. Then we have uh, block inlay, 25 and a half inch scale length, uh, 21 frets. We've got the Fender F style tuners from the late 60s. Those are rad. Um, the neck shape is a thicker C. It's definitely a C, but it's like a, almost a more, I would call it a more modern C. I'd say it's very comparable to a lot of the more modern Jazzmasters I've played, and it actually feels really good. The frets are a little low on this, but, you know, old guitars. So, um, definitely a Mustang Bridge. So, a couple interesting things to note right off the bat that differ from my 59. Uh, something that I actually love is seeing the, the differences. Um, and one of the cool differences is the patent pending uh, it actually has a patent number on these so it's patent number two million nine hundred thousand or nine hundred and seventy two thousand nine hundred and twenty three for anyone wondering that's this thing's patent number so I don't know if you can see that in the video I'll try to get a close-up shot we can cut to and then up here original or offset contour body patented mine up there in that exact same place says original contour or original offset body patent pending um, so because this, they rushed these out to production and so they didn't, the patents weren't fully, uh, accepted by, by the patent office. But so this one is a patented era. It's a 1967. We've got the big block inlays, which are awesome. Uh, I think they just look super, super gorgeous. Bound fretboard. Uh, interesting differences other than that would be the, uh, gray bobbin pickups in these. These have, this has gray bobbins. These are the black bobbin pickups from the earlier era. I think up till 62 they did black bobbin pickups. Then they switched over to grays. I don't know. I've heard that people like the black bobbin pickups better. And from my experience, I do too. But I don't know why that is. But maybe it's just a material thing. So I think that's really cool. Uh, original finish on this guy. And it's just immaculate. There is no belt rash on this thing. This thing is just one of the cleanest, like... Man, if you could see this thing in person, it's immaculate for a guitar from 1967. So, um, yeah, let's take a listen to it. Let's start with the bridge pickup, shall we? Middle pickup. Neck pickup. Rhythm circuit. So 
so this guitar is just super rad. I actually really like it. If you're looking for a Jazz Master that's a later era, these are great, honestly. There's differences, and that's what I love about these guitars. There's strong differences between the early and the middle era and then the late era. They all have their own appeal. I don't think one is like, oh, this is a superior model. I love my 59. I'm lucky to have a 59. I'm super, super excited that I have one but I don't necessarily think that it's better than anything else. So I think this is a really great era and it has its own thing. I actually love the way the neck pickup on this sounds. It's really warm, but still really clear. And it's probably due to the gray bobbins. The gray bobbins I think have a little more top end, a little less wooly. Um, the bridge pickup I definitely prefer on this guy. This thing has a great bridge pickup, nice and like, like a good amount of bite, but still plenty of like mid range and fullness. Um, and this thing has that too. I mean, it has plenty of mid range mid-range bite and fullness, but just, you know, subtle differences between the two models. I just think this is a great instrument. You can tell it's been well taken care of. The vibrato system feels exactly the same. They really didn't change anything. Um, there's, I feel no difference between this and my 59s. Neck is a totally different feel seeing as it's bound. Um, the fretboard is a different material. It's much more like, I'm trying to describe it, it feels much more flat like it's been glossed which it may be or something it, it's definitely a veneer um so it's got that feeling to it um whereas this feels a little more this has a little more feedback um like you can feel the fretboard this feels like there's almost nothing there um the neck is a very glossy um compared to my 59 but my 59 also been refinished so that's a really hard comparison to make um the frets are really nice. I think they would, would have been really good at one point. They've definitely worn down considerably, but it still plays great, still intonates just fine. And it's a really fun guitar to play, honestly. So I'm super thankful that I was able to do this video with this guitar. So what do you think? Let me know, write it down in the comments. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time.